Okay, welcome Aquarius. So this is your year overview from 2020 21 to 2021. So this time next year, oh, that's the overview. Um, I've changed the deck. I just decided just to stick with the muse and the work your light because I felt like in the last few videos there was just I don't know. I could. I just felt like there's a lot of cards on the table. Let's just leave it at that. So your overall energy came out as the devil. So something is something's controlling your thoughts or something is or someone but I definitely feel like you're 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 the puppet in this sense Aquarius so for the next while you're the puppet let's just pull it the next one five of material so five of pentacles uh you're being manipulated into like using your money for something here because that's all about uh wanting things that you don't have kind of thing so maybe you want to break free but like if you look at this devil card i love this muse card deck um the girl has butterfly wings so she can set she has the tools to set free so we'll see what's coming up uh, in relation with that as well so let's start with august the awakening wow that's even straight away <laughs> this is the judgment card in um the muse tarot so this is where you have been enlightened to realize wow i can actually i can break free i can actually do things for myself i can actually move forward i'm going to shuffle this because i didn't shuffle that very well i'm getting cards from the last reading so um but yeah you can see like she has the way she's opened up her heart chakra she's letting th things come in from the universe let's give a quick shuffle to this and pull a card for that Oh, hello. That one jumped. Oh, the four of wands. Look at that. So you have... There's going to be some sort of awakening at a party or a wedding because it's the four of wands. Or this could be a pregnancy that's actually made you go, wow, I actually need to grow up now. Okay. It's not just me anymore. But I definitely feel like this um, awakening sense is going to happen at a party. It could be an office party if this is like a... A manager kind of situation so yeah that's that there so that's August we go to September six of wands nice beautiful so the six of wands is um you're feeling victorious you've you've beaten the devil well let's say that you've defeated the dragon kind of thing you know you you've reached the finish line Aquarius so this is where you are in August so and it happens pretty quickly this enlightenment kind of phase this kind of breaking free so that's what the, the energy is is that you're broken free from this you have nothing because clearly you feel like you have nothing but you don't realize you have so many tools already there you just you may not have the means to do it don't really need to elaborate that one I think that's very straightforward October two of cups so you meet someone in September who probably makes sense they could be platonic or they could be romantic or if you are in a romantic relationship it could be your partner um helping you out aquarius like helping you out so much like just reconnect with yourself and find yourself uh oh we got the eight of material so this shows you that you're working really hard with them you're working very hard with your partner working super hard and it's really nice seeing that like you you're working so hard at keeping this relationship going and afloat like the way they're floating there but you see you're doing so much things at once that you're actually working hard on yourself with them like they're not the reason that you're happy you know what i mean like you are the reason you're happy so that's probably what's magnet like making them come towards you and magnetizing them to you is that they know that you love yourself and you're working really hard on that that's lovely i like that that's nice um what was it october november we have the emperor so maybe this partner um or maybe this could be you just empowering yourself with the emperor's energy but i feel like it could also be the partner could be that other person in the two of cups they step up and become your rock like the way this lady's poncho is the, a mountain so she they become your rock they become your guide and soul uh mate and we see the eight of wands they push you forward like look at that they're pushing you forward they're giving you all that energy going go out there do what you want so they're very supportive this emperor is very supportive in 
August, September, October, November, November. I literally swear I've had my coffee. November is where they push you to go out there. So maybe you get a Christmas job or something like that, you know? So December, let's see what's coming up for Christmas. What's coming up for Christmas? Nine of voices. So this is the nine of swords. So it's a lot of stress. It's a lot of stress. Like they're not stressing you out. It's just a lot of pressure, I feel. It's a lot of pressure and you're holding all the threads together, trying to keep it together. But it's like, it's trying to keep everything together is hard enough. But like you're working hard. Don't forget, you were working really hard. It, there, we all hit a bump in the road, okay? We all hit a bump in the road. We have the three of swords here. That makes sense. Like, you know, it's a lot of conflict within yourself going, I can't do it, but you can because you're stressed. You're at the, in December, you're stressed when you should be relaxed. Do you know what I mean? Like it's the time of year where you're just relaxed, but maybe it's because you don't, it's the unknown you don't like. And it's the, the, the fear of the unknown. I'm going to give this another shuffle. Oh, that jumped out. Okay. I wanted to see what else was coming up. We have the ten of material. So that five of this is the probably the energy at the start. You feel like you've nothing but you have everything. Do you see this? That's the energy. So like clearly you're stressed over nothing. I wanted to see what it was about. It's about the ten of material. You're stressed about things that are out of your control, I feel, but you don't realise you have all this this abundance around you, Aquarius. In the month of December, like your family are around you and you're celebrating Christmas and you're stressed. Like how how are you stressed, you know? It's kind of like you probably know what it is. I mean, like look into like that kind of thing where you break it down to what is triggering it. Okay, new year, new you, what's happening? Ooh, ten of emotions. That worked out pretty well. Ten of material, ten of emotions. So clearly you got you kind of come to terms with I'm fine. I was stressed over nothing. Everything's fine. That two of cups is coming back down again. It's lovely. That's lovely. I don't even need to elaborate that. It's just family life and emotional stability is strong in the new year, which is nice. That's lovely. So let's go on to February. Ooh, the Knight of Voices. So maybe this is you being a Knight of Swords here. Because you were swords here twice. So this is probably your energy. You're, you're getting rid of that sword energy by going out there and just giving it, going it heads head on, like you know. Um, I was gonna say gun hole. I don't know why gun hole came into my head. Um, let me just see. Oh, that actually doesn't make sense. I pulled the card there and I went nope. Um, let's see. So we had the eight of emotions there. So you are walking away from that stress. I'm fine. I'm gonna get out there and do my thing. I'm trying to knock out the last star sign that was in there. They keep coming out the same cards. Maybe they just want to tell you the same thing, you know? So you guys, I love how the cir these two circles are still here. Like the white and the black. So the dark and the light are still there. So you're coming out into the light and leaving the dark behind. Do you see that? Do you see that? It could be an eclipse. So maybe in February there's an eclipse coming. Don't know what kind though. Um, but there could be an eclipse in February and that's the time where you get out there, walk away from that stress and just go out there, just rip the band-aid off and get out there. Could be work, could be anything, do you know? March, let's see what's in March. Knight of Cups, ooh, so maybe this, the anniversary for this Two of Cups is in March or their birthday is. So this, the romantic partner is there anyway, so that's lovely. Four of emotions. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's really sad. I would say this is the whiny card. They want to help you. They're offering you help. And you're like, no, no, I want to do it all by myself. And this is probably, you know, pushing the relationship apart. There's a gap here. You see the gap between the two faces here? And then this is you stuck in the cup. So you're stuck in the cup. Ooh, ace of emotions. So there's a new, there's a lot of emotions going on in March. New beginning. You're coming out. You're emerging. Do you see, I love this deck. It's very visually helpful. Do you know, like it's very visual to help explain what a, uh, an Ace of Cups is. So from that, you actually emerge and probably do take the help, or you just do it yourself. But I definitely feel like you need to take the help from that night. That's lovely. That's really pretty. Okay, so April. Page of Wands. 
New good news comes in thank you very much April April I did say April okay this is why I don't do the year once I forget which month I'm on <laughs> so in April something good happens something amazing if you hear a chainsaw my neighbors are getting their garden done so I'm sorry but look the the page of wands is all about change and creativity and new <laughs> new beginnings um, but there's good news coming definitely this is like a messenger they're always a student and they're always um, learning so you're learning something new here in April what is it though nice material what is happening I've shuffled back three nights two nights two nights and now third so this is where you get that go back that spark to go out after the dream career you wanted or you find that stability and take your time so you're slowed down if this you are these if you were these nights it's like you're gone fast you've got calm down and now you've gone really slow here because the the knight of pentacles is the slowest night but if it was that as well but i definitely take it as the way it was for each month but you could see like your your growth you've taken that leap yeah you've taken that leap into the, like being a creative person and taking the good news as a a sign so that's april now we're into may justice oh this justice card is phenomenal it's like it's like you're coming to terms with your old self like you're not punishing your old self anymore or your subconscious i love this this is amazing it's also about balance yeah i'm going to shuffle this again i keep getting the old cards from the previous one so hold on um oh jesus don't fall no but um okay we're back <laughs> close the window um so we see the justice card is about you having you know coming with the terms of the karmatic energies and like this lady's walking up the stairs into her old self and into her new self so she's coming to terms with how things were in the past but you're also coming to terms with that part that devil who did you wrong is going to get their karmatic slap in the face like they're going to be let the universe deal with them do you know the universe is going to deal with them threefold all good things come in threes all bad things come in threes page of voices page of swords so you don't take any shite from anyone <laughs> any shite um so you went from a page of inspiration to a page of voices so this is where you're thinking smart going how am i going to get past this in a logical and mature way so we could see that you actually are very smart you're very clever um you're very you're thinking with your head going i'm just gonna let karma do its thing i'm not gonna do anything i'm not gonna fight this so in may that devil approaches you again after you've done through all this work and they go ah do you know what they're trying to manipulate to come back so in june we have the muse of material so the king of material king of pentacles what about? basically the king of pentacles and you can see like you went from a knight of pentacles there eight of pentacles up here so it's it's come through you you've reached it you're reaching that bridge where you can go forward in your career and move away from that um devil definitely you've awakened a lot like you've come come full circle now that's lovely isn't it i love how these are horizontal as well there's only a few cards that are like that are horizontal uh let's take one from the top ten of inspiration so ten of wands we know that you are stressed easily as we saw in december but be careful not to take on too many things at once you're a king of pentacles now everyone was you're a man like say if you're a manager you took the devil's job in a way you're the manager but you're not manipulating anyone you're treating everyone as an equal um you've taken that job and now you're like whoa i've taken a lot on here and i don't know what to do let's take one from the bottom of the deck here what's at the bottom of the deck oh ten of voices oh god yeah you're very stressed you're overwhelmed a lot i'm very overwhelmed here you're very overwhelmed with this new job it is going to be overwhelming because everything new is overwhelming it makes sense but we have the what the wands here with the ten of swords so you're like there's a lot going on and then you suddenly realize oh my god it's more than i thought I, i've bitten off more than i can chew here 
Because you probably realised the bat devil from before. Like you didn't realise how much work they did, and now you're seeing it. But yeah, no. Oh. Maybe just be be prepared for that. Like maybe mentally be prepared for May next year. Be pre- prepared for that. June? No, it's June. Sorry, June. June next year. Be careful. Wait for June next year. July. Let's see. Let's move you down a bit so you can actually see July. There we go. July's here. July is the seven of inspiration. The seven of wands. So look at this lady defending herself from that darkness. You're protecting yourself not to fall down that hole again with the nine of swords. You're very, very determined. I'm going to cut the deck and just take the one in the middle. Ace of voices. I just felt like pulling the one in the middle. Ace of swords. Something new is becoming this time next year. You're more enlightened. You're more prepared. Like You're more prepared to fight this darkness. This Like the mental health kind of side of things. Oh wow so next year you guys are more prepared like this is a big huge awakening you had here with that and the four of wands so something happens there then in december we saw that you were stressed like really stressed and felt betrayed and everything but you have everything because we have the ten of um the ten of material there and then you had the ten emotions and went on so yeah you need to be careful i think um you're getting i always say the ace of swords is where you actually pick up the sword so you've actually picked up the sword to defeat your defeat this darkness maybe it's more of an internal thing rather than an external thing but then again it could be an external because of that ten of swords and ten of wands there earlier right let's do the oracle and then we're done and move on to the next star sign i do four of these where are you being called to journey okay so this is where you need to know where because you got an awakening so clearly something was calling you to go somewhere so that's going to go there that's clearly where you were called to go somewhere like what's what's your heart desire like what's your dream job in a way next we have answer the call oh my god what is your soul calling you to do um that could be the same thing but i definitely feel like it's this emperor you know giving you that energy there telling you to follow your calling go with your flow of things this is like one for each season but i'm just going with where they turn up and associate with as well keepers of earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you oh wow i definitely feel like that could be that this these two here because the you're stressed there and christmas time is a time of family and stuff so maybe you go to your family to get advice and you, you're not alone they're beside you everyone's there to help you the crumbling oh what are you what are you clinging on to that's definitely down here so we can definitely see that you you're not letting go of that ten of wands you're picking up the ten of wands and the ten of swords here so you're picking up something that's easy to let go of and something that's not so what are you still clinging on to what's not letting you go through the gate there I'll do another one. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits Soul Tribe. This is probably that four of wands up there as well. But I definitely feel like it's this um it's this knight. This knight of cups. Like the that's your two of what your two of cups partner. Helping you, telling you to come together, like listen to yourself. Um, one more. Don't dim to fit in. Okay? Don't dim your light to fit into this ten of this king of pentacles here so don't stop being you i definitely feel that i want to see what this page has to do like what's this there's nothing really happening here like what's happening with this trust your path if you knew what you you would be supported what would you do and clearly you're being supported so that's nice to see okay yeah no that that's enough there that makes sense these are just like clarifiers for little bits um, I was doing for like four for each season, but I went, oh, it doesn't really associate with each season. It just kind of goes with each message that came out. So I'll go with that. They're just clarifiers. Okay, Aquarius, that is your year overview. I will leave that there and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.